I call this nice makeup and I'm gonna do a be inspired makeup tutorial before we get started. I did my brows, face, and light and left eye off camera. All the makeup that I'll be using will be in the description below. Plus, this is all drugstore and affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that chit chat. Let's get started. When I think of bees, I think of spring. Spring is in the air, and I'm very excited. Well, in Canada, we are already in spring, and I like spring and summer, so that's good. I have a memory to talk to you on camera, but, like, it's funny at the same time. But I remember when I was little, I got stung by a bee on the island, and I have to go to the ER. It was so funny. I laugh at it to this very day. But right now, I'm kind of scared of bees, like, when I get up close. Like, I'm afraid that I might get stung. I have before in the past, even though... They are cute. This is the eye look that I came up with. I wanted to do black and yellow for a while. That's the bee's colors. And I have a photo of a bee that I found on Google. It is very cute. And I wanted to do this for a while. This is perfect for spring. So... That's good, and some brown because I noticed that bees have a little bit of brown in it, and sort of like the honey part, so that is good. On to the makeup. For eye primer, I took the Hard Candy one. You know the drill. Ignore the fact that I have a sore throat. I took honey for this be before I began filming, and now I sort of feel a little bit better when I woke up. I can hardly speak, but I'm going to ignore it. I have three allergies. The two palettes that I'm going to use, well, one of them is the Makeup Revolution Extended Charcoal Carnival Pot. The mirror inside is so big that I'm not trying to blind you. I'm going to see if I can pick it up. I have shimmery eyeshadow on. The mirror is so big that I'm not trying to blind you. I'm taking the black and yellow and the bronzy shade so that's good they, this palette does have names so i'm gonna say it on camera and the second palette that i'm using is the one from the color institute i'm taking this medium brown and i'm taking this lighter gold and i'm also taking a gold highlighter so that's good for the crease, I'm taking the shade Duvet, which is a matte, bright yellow. The brushes I'm using are from Best Hope. This one is a tapered blender brush. Sometimes yellows can be sheer. But I want to sort of match it to this Spongebob shirt that my twin brother gave me. It's a little bit big on me, but it's worth it. I want to get the bright yellow part of the bee. Once I have enough pigment, I'm going to blend it. The car be there when I open my eyes. So it's good. And I think that's enough. Right, yellow for the B part. For her lower lash line, I'm taking a chocolate brown using this Best Taupe small eyebrow brush. I might need a little bit more from the Colors of Two palette. I'm not sure if I'm hitting pan on it. I hit pan on some shades that I use every day. Oh, yeah. Did you know that there's a little bit of brown on a bee? Like, that I noticed, that I seen on Google. 
and watching some other making tutorials before I began filming. So that's good. We want Death to the Eye. I think that's enough. For the outer corner, I want that black part. I'm taking the shade Juve with this Equal Tools Angle Liner Brush. A little bit of black eyeshadow goes a long way. And just placing it on the outer corner of my eye. I think that's good for the lid. I'm taking Nuppin Hill, which is a bronzy shade. It represents honey. It represents the bees. Just on the rest of the eyelid. I think that's good. For the inner corner, I'm taking a light gold from the Color Institute palette using my middle finger. It's a little bit powdery, those Color Institute palettes. This is the one that I use every day. I'm hitting pan on a few shades. I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. I took a true black mascara to represent the black part of the bee. It is black and yellow stripes but i wanted true black mascara for the makeup tutorial the one that i'm using is this folk high one that came in a amazon makeup set that i got last year any black mascara will do i want the truest black ever so that's good i'm gonna highlight my face using a gold highlighter i'm taking this gold highlighter from the Color Institute. You can see my makeup mirror lights. I have to close the pink curtains in my room because it was blinding me and I'm filming this in the morning. I'm taking my clean middle finger in the gold highlight. Oh, oh yeah. And for my base, I used a matte foundation that looks good on me. And I'll do it on the cheekbones, even though it might be sheer. Yeah, it's a little bit sheer on the cheekbones. But it shows up on the nose. This is the only gold highlighter that I have, but it's not a true gold. It has some golden shimmer to it. Oh, it shows up on the chin. What about the forehead? Eh. It looks good. Any gold highlighter will do, but this is the only one that I have. And it's good. Let me clean off my middle finger. And after the video, I'm going to wash my hands. So that will be good. For, oh, I keep dropping stuff on my makeup table. For lip prep, I took the Burst Bees Ginger Lime Lip Balm. This is appropriate because it has B in it, and there's a little B. And I did, I did a review on this two years ago, and I did the strawberry and the watermelon in the, in 2021. And I'm going to remove it with some toilet paper. So my lips are nice and hydrated. It has beeswax, so it can keep that moisture even though I'm not feeling well when I woke up. I'm going for a clear lip gloss. This is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Crystal Clear. I don't own a black lipstick because that's too scary for me. A clear lip gloss will be perfect. And then do my top lip. Here is the completed Be Inspired Makeup Tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. 
they remind me of spring and summer and I wanted to do a black and yellow look for a long time that's the bees colors with a little bit of gold well bronzy colors so that's good so stay tuned for more views and eye looks make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you bye